Eyewitness News 4. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Waite, and here's a look at sports. The Lobo men's basketball team will take on the CSU Rams this Saturday at the pit. And guess who's back in the starting lineup? Hugh Greenwood. If you remember, he got injured in the Lobos win against New Mexico State, and he was forced to sit out three games. However, Greenwood says that being healthy heading into conference season is extremely important. Just a little bit of pain in my wrist, tried to play through it, but just because it was my shooting hand, it was just you know, a lot of discomfort, um, and I felt like I was a liability out there. And uh, The decision was to rest it, be healthy in time for conference. Ha haven't had a healthy conference season. I've rolled my ankles both years, so looking forward to being out on the floor at close to 100%. Saturday is not just a big day for the Lobo men, it's a big day for the women as well. They hit the road to Fort Collins to face the 8-3 Rams. Coach Yvonne Sanchez and her Lobos are sitting at 5-4 and four on the year. That game starts at 2. And the CSU Rams hosting the San Diego State Aztecs. It's Mountain West Conference time. Clock winding down in the first half. Xavier Thames knocks down the jumper for 2. Thames finished the night with 23 points and three assists. The Aztecs are going to win this one, 71 to 61. And from the hardwood to the gridiron, there is nothing better than a new year and some good football. It's the Fiesta Bowl. It's the University of Central Florida and Baylor, and it's a close one. First half action, Central Florida off to a good start. Storm Johnson takes the handoff. He gets the score. But then it's going to be Baylor's Bryce Petty. He's going to hook up with Norris Wood. He's going to go 30 yards for the touchdown. Yep, that's six points right there. Right now, they are in the fourth quarter, and USC leads Baylor 49-35. to 35. It's the oldest and one of the most anticipated bowl games. The 100th Rolls Bowl, Stanford and Michigan State, uh, fourth quarter, tied to 17. Connor Cook finds Tony Lippett. He gets the touchdown. Michigan State's going to win this one, 24 to 20. And in Orlando, it's the Capital One Bowl, Wisconsin, South Carolina, second quarter. Look at this. Bruce Ellington takes the pitch on the double reverse, and he finds quarterback Connor Shaw. That's a touchdown. That's six points. South Carolina walks. Walks away victorious, 34 to 24. And it's the Big Ten and SEC meeting up in the Outback Bowl. Fourth quarter, Jeremy Hill has Tiger fans going wild. He makes his way through traffic. He goes 39 yards for the score. The Tigers win this one, 21 to 14. Okie doke. A lot of activity there. Thanks, yeah. Christy. <laughs> well, only one big.